Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, everyone. We're playing our Ultimer named Selril, an ordinary nobleman who uh, his family kind of uh, disowned him when he started traveling Tamriel. And rather than coming back, you know, to, to Somerset and begging their forgiveness, uh, he more or less just stayed in Skyrim and made a life for himself. You see, he doesn't really like the snow monkeys, the the Nords too much. I mean, Ailey the Huntress has served him well, as have various other uh, people. However, mm, you know, it's just been an interesting situation. Uh, he ended up getting help from the only other person who would help him, an Altmer. Yes, uh, Arian at the museum has uh, graciously, graciously extended him an invitation um, to become a relic hunter. Yes, indeed. A relic hunter hunter and now that he is a relic hunter he is able to um uh, be able to obtain relics that he then displays in the gallery now um not just an ordinary relic hunter you see he was actually able to get this become the proprietor of the museum the, the museum's collection uh, so he's Arian's business partner now they are uh on a pretty even level, Aryan goes and deals with aristocrats and um, secures materials and space and money, especially the money part, uh, so that the museum can continue expanding. And we are traveling the land with our followers, gathering more relics. Now, as far as our followers go, we got Rumarin, who is a um, expert at um, snark, wit... Um, very, very low and dry wit, but still wit. Um, then we have Elena, who was a serving wench at a tavern before we found out she had super secret heavy armor and two-handed weaponry skills we didn't know about. So uh, now the serving wench is like our best heavy-hitting melee character. Very good. Um, additionally, we have Miss Huntress here who thinks we're going on a hersing ritual totem hunt, which we are just... A little bit down the line. We're, we're busy grabbing other things first. Anyway, uh, that's about it. We are getting ready to adventure. Yes, indeed. For those who are wondering uh, about this, this whole Dragonborn nonsense, as far as we know, uh, it doesn't exist. See, we haven't been to Helgen yet. No, nope, haven't been there. So we haven't seen Alduin. And um, we haven't been sent to Bleak, Bleak Falls Barrow. None of that's happened yet. You may be wondering, well, how far into the playthrough are you? Well, in terms of game time, we're three months in. But in terms of uh, played time, we're about 162 hours in. So, you know, f sorry, four game, four in-game months or 162 hours. <laughs> yes, we have brought the time scale down to nine as opposed to the default 20. So time passes slower now. It lets us do more in a day. Speaking of doing things in a day, let's ask everyone to follow us. Uh, eventually, we may end up with some uh, zombies that got stuck up in Hajvar's watch there. They may get teleported to us eventually. I've also been uh, running the game for a while, so uh, it's kind of overdue for a crash at this point. It usually crashes between 4 and 12 hours, and we, we've been the game's been open for many more than 4 hours. So, you know, just saying, we're overdue for one of them there uh, crashes. Um, let's uh, get going here. We are going to head over to kill a giant at the Sleeping Tree camp. The Sleeping Tree, by the way, is a reference to the Elder Scrolls novel by Gregory Keyes. It's uh, one of the hiss trees from Umbriel that kind of crashed in, in Skurim. Yes. Additionally, uh, we have the Mace of the Crusader to find, and then we have to go all the way over here and get the Pommel of Mehrun's Razor. Once we get all of these things, then we'll start heading in the opposite direction and get the Hersing Ritual Totem. And maybe thinking we get the totem, okay, quest done, right? Well, maybe. Uh, we're thinking about actually starting the Dawn Guard because if we do, we can get these uh, Boots of the Crusader, which would be nice to have. Um, but either way, uh, which do you prefer, sword, axe, or mace? It's a very good question. You see, the way we've got things set up, oddly enough, Sword, axe, and mace actually matter quite a bit. You see, if we were to go up the Clash of Champions sword tree, 
then enemies would get weaker. They they do less damage the more you stab them. Furthermore, you'd be able to um, uh, increase uh, your attack power against them. You'd be able to uh, bleed the target, which is nice. And um, you know, critical strikes on bleeding targets deal ten percent time uh, ten times damage if they're below twenty five percent health. So it's like an execute. Very nice. A sideways power attacks can fling the target into the dust. Uh, repeated uh, standing power attacks against the target um, affect stacks, dealing more damage. It's kind of, And if you get more than four of these stacks, and there's four power attacks in a row, the enemy gets knocked off their feet. They get sent flying. And then we got Judgment, where slaying an enemy under Clash of Champions restore, instantly restores stamina. So, in other words, if you were to actually do some of these... Uh, moves it would be kind of fancy however uh, denting blows on the other hand reduces the target's armor the more you hit them smite is an anti un uh, is, well it's a it's a super critical attack that actually does uh three times critical damage or four times against undead because smite you know for paladins now i have to ask you a question some people uh may ask this question what's a paladin oh well uh consult ultima nine for that uh, next, um, uh, uh, we need to go over to, um, we go up the tree past smite. We got rise kinsman where it buffs people and then, uh, sideways power attacks, um, deplete all your stamina and then deal damage for the stamina depleted. And then, uh, for each standing power attack is, uh, increases, uh, you know, subsequent damage. It stacks, same deal. Skull crack is interrupt spell casting. So you literally, you, uh, you become an anti-mage at this point kind of cool now as far as axes go they bleed targets and they ignore armor if the target is staggered so you do a power attack to stagger them then you chop chop while they're staggered and it ignores 50 percent of their armor basically um then moving forward uh, it, it, the enemy can drop their dust uh, their uh, shield take more critical damage so on and so forth i keep going but that's just an explanation there uh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, I played Gothic a long time ago and, you know, um, uh, learned to cheese the crap out of it. All right. Uh, either way, let's uh, keep going. Point is that um, the, the trees matter, and I think I prefer maces, to be honest, which is why we just happen to be going over to collect the Mace of the Crusader, a holy relic that will allow us to smite our enemies with justice. Justice. Yes, justice. The, the kind of justice that summons undead armies and worships the king, the god of worms. Mm, you know, something like that. No. All right, let's continue west. We got to get to that sleeping tree camp pretty soon. Along the way, wormy justice, yes. Justice is whatever opposes me dying, obviously. And then, uh, yeah, that's doesn't sound very justice to me. Indeed. Immediately thinking of justice from uh, Guilty Gear instead. <laughs> yeah. All right. Once awakened, justice uh, destroyed Japan completely. And um, the main character, Soul Bad Guy, has to... Uh, has to stop justice from being resurrected. Nope. The hero is named Soul Bad Guy. For reasons. All right. Uh, are there uh, TS novels any good? Yes. Uh, fr from an Elder Scrolls perspective, they are good because the Elder Scrolls is filled with bad writing, okay? So understanding that the Elder Scrolls novels are comparatively speaking good, it's actually pretty important to um, to clarify this, though. The Elder Scrolls novels are some of Gregory Keyes' worst work. Uh, if you want to check out something really good that Gregory Keyes made, check out the Kingdoms of Thorn and Bone series uh, to compare it. But yes, it, it, comparatively speaking, when you compare it to normal Elder Scrolls writing, the Elder Scrolls novels are good. But his other novels are much, much better. There's a drag over there. I need to kill it. 
Ah, uh, crap. He is not taking damage. Okay. Screw that. He's an alpha drag. Oh, God. My goodness. I don't want to fight them. I want to go over this way instead. That's a fort. We want to ignore the fort. I want to go this way. Yes. Yeah. Someone's fighting the Alpha Drake. Is the Huntress shooting him? No, the enemies are, are doing that. Okay, I think this is Kavakas' house. Pretty sure this is, yeah. Winch's house, yes. Damn. Look at this guy with his Debella statue and his... Taco statue, wolf queen, glazed pot. He just has a lot of stuff here. Looks like he's going to make a sacrifice. We better just leave him alone. We don't know what Winch is up to. Winch uh, summons the Daedra, uh, the, uh, the Daedric, um, I for forgot what his title was. Doesn't matter. His name was Kavakis and... We murder him. That's that's our first like major task in one of these quest mods is to kill uh, kill Kavakis that winch summoned. All right. Do -do. You, you said you're kind of pissed that uh, alternative media is lacking. Well. You see, my concern is you get into Warcraft where it's really dumb. Um, instead of supplementing it, they replace major events with um, their novels. And it's like Warcraft has handled it in the worst way possible. Remember that raid you did in um, in the first year of WoW on Ixia? You didn't do that. See, it turns out Varian did that in a novel. Sorry. Um, you didn't do what you thought you did. Get over it, kid. All right. They're killing her is non-canon, correct. The crab is dead. Yeah, I don't respect Blizzard, nor do I, um, nor am I a Warcraft fan anymore. But Blizzard stopped being really worthy of respect around the time uh, Activision started interfering around the Hearthstone days. People say, well, actually, Blizzard's decline was much earlier than the Hearthstone days. Yes, but that was self-inflicted. Um, uh, most of the issues that Blizzard is having right now are, um, are you know, corporate meddling, let's just say. Oh, my goodness. I destroyed that mud crab. Utterly. Look around here. Curious what this is. Think you want it, but you don't. Well, the think you want it, but you don't thing was a half truth. It was a generalization because the majority think they want that, but they don't the majority didn't actually make the transition to WoW Classic. But enough did. Skeleton Strongbox, here we go. Go grab that. That's the mud crab I killed, by the way. It got sent up here. Enough did to make it profitable. But remember, these guys have their own creative vision for how not only WoW was supposed to be, but they've meticulously gone over how to make WoW accessible to the most amount of people, how to craft an experience 
including, and when I say an experience, I'm saying including uh, daily quests and recurring objectives. World of Warcraft is finely tuned to allow you to uh, play it in theory, not forever, but for the maximum amount of time possible. And so when they look at it, well, what? Explain yourself. Did you just say you'll kill me? No, you don't. You don't get away with that. He threatened my life. He's dead now. Are we taking all his metal? Yes. Well, I'm sure that. Did you see someone run past just now? Yeah, he went that way. Great. Thanks. Bastard stole from me. I'll catch him though. Dead. Oh my goodness. I know, Elena. He's dead. Yes. Bastard stole from me. What I was trying to say is that they they spent all this time handcrafting this uh experience in World of Warcraft, right? A uh, fine tuning it. Making sure it's um, just the way they want it. And then they get all these people who say, we, we want you to undo years of work and refinement to go back to the sloppy thing that it started as before, back when Mark Kern was working on it. And they, they look at you like, you're crazy. You, you may think you want that, but you don't want to get rid of all that refinement and, you know, everything we've done to make this like a, a successful live service. And uh, so that's where the whole you think you want that, but you don't came from. It wasn't just the small things. Wow, that second wolf just poured uh, flew in there. Okay. It makes a lot of sense when you look at it from their perspective because they spent all this time hand tuning it that you, and then and then people got bored of wild WoW classic not everybody not everybody there there are some people who who still play it to this day but there's a good chunk of people who got flat out bored of wild WoW classic because it didn't have all of the elements with which to retain them good the huntress just shot this spider and killed him now, I'd argue that um, no game should retain you indefinitely. World of Warcraft. I, I'm just thinking, Skyrim, how, how's, this, how's this working? But no, no, I, I, spent, I spent a long time playing Warframe, but I don't think I'd play Warframe forever. Likewise, I spent a long time playing Path of Exile, but I don't think I'd play Path of Exile forever. Remember when I took a six, eight month break from Skyrim and went to play Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall for six to eight months? That was fun. Uh, right? So, my point. Right. Thanks, Rumar. A friend, not me. A friend. Um. Anyway, yeah, my point is that, um, uh, geez, uh, people are, uh, how I put this, like, be it Grand Theft Auto or some other game, people will play it to death over and over and over. Same content, repeating forever. I mean, I've done it with Daggerfall. I've done it with Skyrim. But at some point in time, you take a break, right? You should take a break, right? Games aren't men meant to be played forever. For his totem. Right. Here's the thing, though. WoW is designed that way. To retain players for as long as possible. 
And when they say you think you want that, but you don't, that's what they're talking about. Because it doesn't have those elements that are perfectly handcrafted to retain you. Hey, Crassus, how you doing? Yes. The Hist does not accept those shrine to the Hist. This is literally a shrine to the Hist. I'm amazing. The Hist do not worship, uh, do not accept those who are not of Argonian blood. Don't you want to start worshiping the Hist? Yes. You get too close to this, it immediately uh, gives you the blessing of the Hist. Let me see here. Tough scales increase armor by 76 points. Jeez. That guy's just having a snack down at the sleeping tree camp here. Oh, that's a bit crazy. Ah, my target's in here. Read the lusty Argonian maid. Argonian ale literally has a label on it in my game called the lusty Argonian. Okay, we need uh, three minions here. One, two, three. Good. You can see how this is working for him. My quest was to kill the giant. Not dead yet. Now he's dead. He tried to sat up, sat up, sit up, and he failed. Yes. Weren't the Hist Elnafe? Um, some people believe that the Hist were sent from the future by Sithis, which is incredibly dumb. But uh, it's very possible that the Hist were Elnafe since everything else were Elnafe. Like, the coyotes were Elnafe. The trees were Elnafe. The rocks were Elnafe. The, the, the entire world is made of spirits, ancient spirits. So, like, everything in the world were originally the earth bones, the Elnafe. The only earth bones that can still talk to us are elementals, basically. You know, World of Warcraft's style, like Ragnaros and stuff, they are Elnafe you talk to in ESO, basically. Yes. You say Sithis isn't conscious, but some people believe he is. Some people like uh, evil Christianity. Y you know, uh, the the Sithis is God. The Night Mother is um um uh, what do you call it? Uh, Jesus. The um the Listener is the Pope. And the black hand are the uh, cardinals. Serious business. He's uh, Emil can only really think in like low quality Christian terms, as far as I can tell. Oh, Zurag. Message from Isolda. Don't try to snip me on this deal, Urag. Oh, that's Isolda. Don't try to snip me on this deal, Urag. I can talk the Khajiit caravans into a better price. Oh, jeez. Jeez, it's Isolda. It's Isolda. Yes. I mean, once you hear how he talks, you realize exactly uh, uh, how, it, like, he doesn't really understand Catholicism as far as I can tell. But he wants to make allusions to it in his video games. Let me go to trendrec.mp4. Here we go. What's the story with Bethesda stories? How do we make our stories? Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. This is my own personal rule for myself, right? Keep it simple, stupid. What does that mean? When I'm coming up with a story for a game, I like to concentrate on strong central themes. You know, Skyrim. Skyrim is a game about dragons, right? Even in the studio. What is the game about? It's about dragons. But the story is not really about dragons, right? It is about the lone hero. It is much more biblical than any a lot of the other stories we've done. It's about a, the, the dragonborn, the Jovakin, is much more of a messiah sort of character. Yes. So, you know, 
a much more of a messiah sort of character. First of all, you know, who what is this the dragonborn sacrificed and who does the dragonborn redeem? Ask yourself that. That's first. Uh number two, um, A lot more biblical than the Neverine. The one who rose again. What's wrong with you? All right. Rumarin. I need to give you the junk that I've been picking up. Yes. Lord Nerevar returns. Like, holy shit. But he didn't have anything to do with the Lord Nerevar, so, you know, when he says what we've done. Only Sithis deals in absolutes? Oh, no. Nerevar guide me every, uh, Yes, every Dunmer, exactly. Ashen the Navarine, yes. Doesn't need to be biblical, correct. Correct, it doesn't need to be biblical at all. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this here. I think it's um, Revenge of Dagoth Ur. Here we go, everyone. It's time. Um, it's time to to talk about the Revenge of Dagoth Ur. Travels. You, stranger, come closer. Yes, you are the one in my vision granted by Lady Azura. Incarnate Lord Nerevar, it is an honor. Whether you believe it or not, you are the current incarnation of Lord Nerevar, marked by the moon and stars. It is as Lady Azura has foretold. Now listen closely, stranger. You are the one marked by the moon and stars. Lord Nerevar, reborn by the power of Azura's prophecy. Dagoth Ur, the devil of Tomriel, has returned. Yes. Let me see here. They all have 666 gold to really phone in the evil. Yes. Now let's see. My stronghold here in Skyrim. Here it will all be decided once and for all. My servant holds the key. Defeat him and you will gain the means to enter. It's just a copy-paste of Evangenzel, yes. Alright. Now let me see here, yes. Yeah. You have contracted corpus. <laughs> Welcome, Moon and Star, to this place where destiny is made. <laughs> so eager to meet your doom. First, I have a question for you, Moon and Star. Hold on. Um... Uh...
come and look upon the heart, upon the heart. Oh, lay down your weapons. It is not too late for my mercy. Oh, oh, come and look upon the heart, upon the heart. Oh, 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 I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. God. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. Welcome, moon and star. Come to me through fire and war. Oh, oh. Come never far. Come and look upon the heart. Upon the heart. Oh, lay down your weapon. It is not too late for my mercy. Oh, oh. Come and look upon the heart. Upon the heart. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Erica. All right, that's enough for now. Let me uh, close that up. Last time we met, I fell by your hand. <laughs> there you go okay good good we're done so, uh we have successfully defeated the giant and we have got a letter from isolda who was obsessed with her sleeping trees apophis gear and some skooma and his journal his journal oh my goodness he these i miss the sweet essence of skooma must keep myself preoccupied. I'm bleeding to death. Oh no! Sweet Skuma! Skuma! Sco Isolda's holding me up to the sap deal. A, I could just sell it to the Khajiits. I'll need the extra gold anyway. Oh no. I don't want to resort to banditry. Okay. So. That happened. No big deal. Let's go. So we've successfully defeated the giant here, which means we need to move on and get the mace of the crusader. Yes. Hmm. East. Is it east or is it west? The revenge of Dagathur, you ask? I mean, the Revenge of Dagothur isn't the worst. The, the worst is something completely different. It's, um, Pit of Sorrow. Yeah. Let me, let me grab the, the Pit of Sorrow really quick. Yes. Ahem. I'm just, uh, gonna... Now, imagine if there was a secret other Daedric Prince who was actually Satan. Okay? Uh, yeah, so on. Whoops, there we go. Uh, a, a secret extra Daedric Prince who was actually Satan. Okay? And his name was Nemesis. You can see, like... Long ago, at the beginning of time, I was the first and the strongest of the Daedra princes. The Daedra all bowed to me. Meirin's Dago and Othaya kept me busy in combat, while the other Daedra princes invaded my realm and defiled my temples. Notice the, um... No, notice the uh, pentagrams in the background. He he's literally Satan. Placing Daedric seals on each one. Which we got we gotta get that line again. Hold on, hold on. And the strongest of the Daedra princes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, well, I need to get the whole line. The whole line. Okay, the whole line. Long ago, at the beginning of time, I was the first and the strongest of the Daedra princes. 
Yeah, that, it, that's the video maker who did that. He's mocking it. No, but no big deal. No big deal. So yeah, we're we're basically good to go. We're good to go. I'm just double checking. Is there anything else? Nah, nah. We can go. We can go. But the Pit of Sorrow is the worst mod for Skyrim, as far as I can tell. Because uh, you basically go over here to that to that little house over there, this homestead, and you get a uh, you get a book where uh, it tells you about Nemesis, the secret extra Daedra. Very spooky. Look at this. Looks like a trustworthy Daedra. He'd never betray you. I know, right? Because he was the strongest of the Daedra princes. Yes. God. I can't uh, say that line without yelling, and I don't want to wake up the wife. What do we got here? Nagas. Nagas, 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 dead. Okay, good. Uh, you say Macho Man Dragons are best mod, but I disagree with you. I disagree with you. Let me let me pull up my character build here. My my sky my Skyrim character build. Hold on. Um, yeah, got it. Um, okay, here we go. But there's one they fear in their tongue. He's Dovahkiin, Dragon Ball. There you go. Yes. All right. Perfect. So, uh, let me see here. Well, that ah, crap. Dark Naga. No. There we go. We hit him once at least. That hitbox is crazy. We got him. Dark Naga is defeated. Good work, Miss Huntress. Top quality number one. The spirit of Skior is with us on this errand. I feel him. Oh, yes, I'm sure you feel him. Let's go this way. Remember the Somerset Isle mod? Oh, no, no, no. The Somerset Isle mod was created by a guy titled uh, You're Not Supposed to Be in Here, who told a story uh, on the uh, Nexus Modders Forum about how he... Um, uh, he got so disillusioned with modding, it, like the 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 project blew up. Everyone was asking when it was going to be done. Like uh, he he started to do it out of obligation instead of fun, and so um, doing it alone, you know, he um, he he got jaded, and so he just eventually just put it out. And it's like there, it's done, whatever. And so when people started reviewing it. He got angry and, um, you know, like, th this is free. Why are you uh, criticizing it so much? Why are you making fun of it? And then he put, he made a post on the Nexus Modders forums titled <clears throat> YouTubers making money off of mods. This thread blew up on the Nexus, Nexus Modders forums for over six months it was drama going back and forth, back and forth, until eventually Tarshana explained that MXR not only reviewed your mod, but reviewed mine. And because Tarshana reviewed my mod, uh, sorry, not Tarshana, uh, MXR reviewed my mod, Tarshana said she was going to sue MXR. And she did. She, she sued MXR. And so, as a result of bringing suit to MXR, there was a big hubba bub 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 and MXR, having absolutely no sense of what he was doing, um, responded to her claim in a dumb way that made it basically impossible for him to win the case. Because he didn't know what he was doing. And, um, yeah. So, uh, the result of that is, you know, instead of retaining an actual lawyer, which isn't as expensive as you, you might think. Um, he just decided to, you know, respond to it himself. So, 
Um, either way, he um, he went ahead and um, eventually settled out of court, agreed to you know never cover any of her mods again and such, and she declared victory. And you know uh, th those those pesky YouTubers got what was coming to them, and the Nexus celebrated as a result. The ne the Nexus modders forums. Nexus modded forums, by the way, you have to have at least a thousand uh, downloads on a mod before um, before you can um, access them. Yes. Uh, we're going to go kill this berserker. He's a spooky one. He's going to die. Yes. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Bethesda actually gives you ownership of your mods. Bethesda says flat out. Uh, you own your mods, but we get an unlimited use license to use um, as, as many as we want, right? Um, I, I, we, can, we can use any, uh, like in part or in full, any of your mods for profit or for free, whatever, right? We can do that. And so, yeah, um, that, that's what ended up happening. Um, yes, uh, I, I ended up doing a little... Uh, a little joke where I took Drake the dragon. Hold on. Um, hold on. Uh, I think it was the Nexus problem. If you want to want to check out the whole video, it's the Nexus problem. Let me let me actually grab the actual clip. Yes, yes. Hold on, hold on. Uh, let me let me go ahead and grab my. Uh, I, I I admit I am kind of a, a a cruel person at times, perhaps. Not, not 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 so not so nice, but um, yeah. So let's let's go ahead and uh, pull this up here, and uh, you get to listen to him. I'm gonna actually gonna put it on uh, the full screen reading. Yeah, there you go. By posting those links of your own memories or records in the meantime, after all, it's you who've been the targets of their attacks, not me. And you know way better than I what happened, when, and where. Of course, I can't talk to the casualties here lost ones, for they obviously won't respond. But those, too, you know likely better than me and what happened to them from first-hand experience and talks from back then. Only Lynx will shut them up. They made that abundantly clear by now. So let's have at it and bury them under proof until they either do shut up like they claimed, or the actually more likely scenario will prove their words don't mean a thing and will continue to fight the facts instead. But then at least everybody will know. But I see this topic has gone downhill yet further again in my absence. Great. The more enemies of authors show up and spout their nonsense inside here, the less I feel bad about never again sharing my mods with any of these. All no. Right. I mean, this is the sort of behavior that 4chan... Yeah, 4chan did. Hold on. I was talking about that. Hold on. There we go. Staff member by the name of Drake. I'm fed up beyond threshold by all these people's shit. I'm way better off without them and their ilk having access to my works. I'm through with them. And if it also harms others who are not sharing their ill-minded thoughts and behaviors, then so be it. It isn't like the good ones ever do even a single thing thing to make me reconsider anymore. The harm coming from sharing with the public has far outdone its use to me at this point, and I'm done with it ultimately. YouTube reviewers have never been a thing when I started. We were coming along exceptionally fine without them. I don't consider them any use, not to me or people with half a brain anyways. I'm making sure my mods will never be very high up in endorsement sorted rankings or anything either, because those people who base their choice of mods on rankings or reviews frankly don't deserve them to begin with. And I'm really fine with such morons not being able to find my mods. My mods are not to be profited from in any way, neither by myself nor anybody else, unless it was specifically permitted by me beforehand. I may be allowing donations to me in the form of premium membership time, but this money will go to the site, not me, and I already have access to everything and will not gain a thing from this myself. And this is the primary problem here. YouTube reviewers neither ask beforehand nor will they take a no for a no. Personal experience from 10 plus years of modding. 
The money is more important to them than the continuation of publicly shared mods and the well-being of the content creators they so deliberately benefit from. And this, in all honesty, makes them the enemy trademark to me. The fear of the backlash that's inevitably going to come from them when you as an author open your mouth and speak up against them or even so much as ask for a thing, to me is absolutely no reason whatsoever not to do it. Quite the opposite, because if someone attempts to blackmail me or force me into something, he'll usually earn quite the opposite of what he was aiming for. They cannot harm me by driving people away from my mods, because I don't care about the single downloader more or less once the one person requesting their upload downloaded them and enjoyed. Every brain-dead moron who doesn't download my mods is a welcome thing to me, less hassle to worry about. Keep your dangerous followers away from my mods and it's appreciated. Raise your armies against me in my comments and I'll make sure to report every single one of them until they're gone from the site in their entirety. My skin is so thick against intentional attacks you cannot even scratch it. You got no power over me or my decisions and there's nothing you could do to make me do a thing you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Wolf and Rain is actually uh, working. Uh, I, I believe he's voicing so a couple people in Skyrim. Yes, the uh, Skywind. Sorry, Skywind. You know, you know Skywind, right? Yeah. So, if you want to check out this video, it's called "The Nexus Problem." You can check it out. It's it's a thing. I, I'm not gonna play the rest of it right now, but yeah. Um, there you go. Behold the truth. Yes, so, um, as I was saying, my adventurer, yes, <laughs> still the best outfit possible. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> so, uh, here we go. Do I even have a giant soul gem? Excuse me, Alana. Uh, uh, uh. Where is Alana? There's Alana. Okay, Alana. Do we have a grand soul gem? Yes. Uh huh. Grand uh, soul. Common soul gem. No. Nope. No grand soul gems on us. Let's go. Adulkin. It says grand, grand, not greater, grand. Yes. Good. Yes, that's why I need, like, people need to stop. It's time to stop assuming. Like the person who said, um, um, like, actually, it's Proud Spire Manor that's 25,000. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bree's home is 25,000. Yeah, Proud Spire Manor is much more expensive than that. Much, much more expensive than that. Your, your knowledge of vanilla has no power here, Grandol Gandalf the Grey. Yes. Gra Grandalf? Gandalf? I mean, where am I? I'm right here. Poof. Yes. Poof. Poof, poof, poof. Right. Ha la la ha. What? Um, my target's down there. Yes. I can hide whenever I... Oh, is that an... Uh, oh, it's a troll. Cyclops. Level 14 Cyclops. Level up! Magiku. Bit by bit, we work our way up to the top. Earn our way to the district. What? No. Mm. Need Undead Crown. Restore 10 points of health per second. Was summoned or reanimated undead. Thanks. Good. Mm -hmm. 
That's a wolf. The game considers that a wolf. Good. Okay. Let's see here. So what you wanted was the sort button. Here, you, you want this button. You, you click sort and it runs loot. Yes. That's it. Yep. I got jiggle physics on my windows. Very important. Top quality, number one. Yes. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Imperials. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. Right. I'm sure you are looking for strong, capable warriors. His voice doesn't match his armor at all. What are you thinking that they have? Oh. I hate to say it, but uh, there have been some historical figures with high-pitched, squeaky voices with big frames. Your expectations are going to get subverted by real life. All right. Oh no. What's happening here? Is it true? Naga. Oh, stop fighting so rough. The Naga is dead. Real voice, you say? Who knew? All right, we have to go back. Back to wherever. Over there, yes. You can see it, the fortress on the hill. That is where we must go. The fortress on the hill. We must fight. I'd kill my throat if I tried to do the nerd voice all the time. Seriously. Okay, we got enemies that are going to attack us pretty soon. Going to save, like, down here-ish. Let's go. Hello, everybody. I don't think so. You thought you could shoot me and get away with it. I don't think so. We're going into the fort. <laughs> Remember Sun Guard City? Those were good times. Heart of Fortune. Heart of Demons. Sun Guard City. Right. Oh, we got the last scabbard. Nice. Nice. Mm hmm. The food is gone. The food is gone! Where's the food? Where's the food? Where's the food? Where's any anybody? Everyone's gone. I thought we would have things to kill. Eat the sweet roll. No problem there. Mm -hmm. No bandits here. This doesn't make any sense. There's even little, uh, oh, interesting. No, no, this, uh, 
Yeah. There we go, then. That's an exit. You can enter this from the uh, outside. Sneak your way in. Makes sense to me. Garlic. The garlic made this all worth it, so I tell myself, even though that's not true at all. Vinegar. Cabbage. Web spider. What? All right. Let's go to the top. Earned our way to the top. Huh? What was what? Hello, Mr. Looter. You're dead. It's nothing. Is it nothing? I don't think it is. Okay. Good. He took uh, a couple hits there. Very good. All right. These skeletons are nice, but I think we need her instead. She is a defender, so she doesn't need the Cyrodiilic glass bow. She does need the ebony shield, but I stole it anyway. Uh, the Forsworn Axe she can hold on to because she's a Forsworn. But as far as the Forsworn go, uh, get, take the Heavy Splinter Shield instead. And now we will revive her using the power of Shout. It, no, using Dead Thrall. Let's do it. Good. One of our skeletons is gone. But now, I hope you don't mind. Um, wow, that's some thick leather you've got there. Look at that uh, thick leather she's got. Stop the arrow and everything. Rumarin. Wow, Rumarin's uh, doing it too. Okay, that's fine. Hold on. Num num. And the arrows are gone. Very good. So uh, we need to tell her to move to player. Just a little bit of a bug. There we go. She's good. Let's do it. What do you mean you can't have 50 things in the same area? Is that it? Is that all the bandits? Weird. I thought there would be more. Like you. You, Mr. Forsworn Looter. Eh. He had garbage on him. That's unfortunate. I expected more. I expected more. Mm -hmm. Well, considering the people who get brought back from the dead, thank you for killing them. I think you can, might you can guess how it is for them since you asked. Just, just take a moment and try to put yourself in their shoes when they go. Thank you, or at last. It's up to you. Use your imagination. Look at this Forsworn Forager. That's some top quality gear we got there. Damn right. Forsworn Dagger. That belongs in a museum. We already got a museum piece, so this is worth it. Damn right. This whole fort was justified for having gotten that Forsworn Dagger. Onion, turnip, potato. Potato. Well, it's distinctly possible they're still in Sovngarde or wherever they were before, but that the residual energy just kind of causes their brain to be, you know, reanimated. So they're they're getting residual memories and feelings, and it's um like I was. I'm in constant pain and my body feels like it's going to fall apart at any moment. I'm literally burning to death every second that I exist. That's just a guess. We have no way of knowing. I'm just saying that's that's one interpretation, maybe. Ah, look at the Ring of Wisdom. 11% more experience. That's kind of nice. Don't need it. 
Okay. Elena's doing a great job. <laughs> yes. A great job. Mm -hmm. Brennan. Think there's anything else we missed? Oh yes. This is the Dova King. This is this is canon. This is what happened to the Dova King. Alright, let's go. Shrine. Uh -huh. Shrine of Kynareth. Does that let me open this? No. This requires either the proper blessing, which is not Kinnereth, but rather the ring of Emil. The mace of the Crusader is mine. Damn right. Ooh. Hmm. Deals fire damage and turns the undead. Damn right. And here we have it. With this mace. We are now just completely, totally broken, I assume. Let me see here. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. This is this is fine. This is absolutely fine. <laughs> oh, let's go for it. Bone mail. Hold on a second. What's in here? Pick and a mountain flower. No one cares. All right. Excuse me, my adventure. <laughs> it should be called the Mesa Zenithar, sure, but still. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Malicia, yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, that's fine. No problem there. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Ooh, the in the name of Akatosh. Akatushi? Akatushi. We got it, though. We got a lot done. Very good. So, how long have we played? Only 163 hours. That's barely any time at all. Well, it's you. We got our mace now. Very happy about that. One explorers have returned from a dig. Damn right. Last crash over four hours ago. Every four to twelve hours it has a tendency to crash, but it hasn't crashed in like five, six hours so far. Something like that. Yep. Now we have to go over to uh, the Pummel of Mayroon's Razor. We gotta go down. Down, I say... Is that south? Yes, that's south. Good. Down we go. Whoa, that's a scamp. He aggroed and everything. Yes. Have you crashed in the museum or the safe house? No. So I accidentally hit Windows key Q, which is my quick quit key <laughs> in, in the safe house once. Yes. Elgin is end game content. You'd be surprised because Helgen will start the main quest, right? And I've set it up with timing is everything so that um, the Dragonborn DLC doesn't start until after Dragon Slayer, after you beat Alduin. So, like, there's so much content gated behind me doing the main quest. <laughs> yes. I have enhanced Mighty Dragons. Alduin might be easy, but. um. I have enhanced Mighty Dragon, so I'm actually kind of not so uh, 
not so excited to have dragons in my game right now. Yes. Tried to use frostbite on one of the fireplaces and your game crashed. Nice. Nice. What do we got here? It's an urn. Oil. Garlic. Oh, nice. A sea dog hat. We could be a pirate. Ooh. That'll do it. Salt for days. Salt for days. Rolling up. Amazing how short the main quest is. It really is. It's tiny. Skyrim, the wealth of Skyrim's content is in all the random shit you can do along the way. Yes. You think the vanilla uh, start tried to make you a storm cloak? Yes. Yes, it did. The vanilla start really, um, really favors Ulfric Stormquack and his rebellion. It's uh, the Stormquacks. So, in theory, if you follow that, that canon, it makes the the Dova Quack, potentially a uh, Storm Quack as well. Just a heads up on that. Yes. Okay. Ooh. A lot of stuff up here. There's a banner over there. Oh. Did you? Did you hear something? I don't think you did. Uh -uh. Does it, Miss Huntress? Maybe you want to get through the ramparts? He's dead. Yes. No, 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 no. You see, here, here's what Ulfric did. Ulfric went up to Torig, right? And he went, he, like Donald Duck. And, um, yeah, Torig was no more. He was simply undone by that. Yeah. Yep. With alternate start, the first uh, rumors always go to Helgen. Yes. Correct. They want you to do the main quest with alternate start regardless. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, here's the thing, though. Um, there are other alternate start mods like um, Skyrim Unbound, where you don't play the Dovahkiin. It's also massively incompatible with other mods. So uh, it's up to you how you want to deal with that. The pit requires a key. So there's a quest for this. Got it. Do, do, do. Port Sunguard Obliette. Oh, there it is. There's another section. Probably going to be more. It's here. N nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing. A lot, a lot of nothing. Do, do. Uh, Relic Hunter Alternate Start sent you to Helgen for some urns. You think they got destroyed? Um, are you sure about that? I think, uh, was it, let me ask you, when did you do that? Did you do that before this version? Because this version removes the need to go to Helgen for the main quest, uh, of the, uh, gallery. I'm pretty sure they, they removed that. Now that said, you can't progress in the gallery past a certain point. Until after you go to Helgen and, you know, become the, the Dragonborn, as far as they know. You don't become the Dragonborn, you've always been the Dragonborn. Yeah, but we don't know that. So we're going to fall down here like an idiot. Let's do it. Dead Bandit. Take the lockpick. But yeah. Until you reach a certain threshold, they don't know... Uh, um. Sorry, it doesn't uh, work 
Oof, my goodness, where am I? What am I doing? What am I? What am I doing? Okay, um, good. I, you don't. The sorry, the main quest for the gallery doesn't continue. Thanks, thanks, Elena. Elena is uh, pretty good there. When does the Legacy of the Dragonborn Guild chapter start? Um, the guild itself, the Explorer's Guild, just kind of starts at some arbitrary threshold. I don't know why exactly, but um, you don't need to be the, uh, the quote-unquote Dragonborn to start the Explorer Society. Yes. Do I have the holidays mod on? No. No, I do not. Hmm. Although I'm told that um, if you uh, work on the Sabbath, you should be put to death. So we, we don't consider uh, YouTube and uh, Twitchy's work. Yes. Old Testament is the only real testament. Okay. Well, Obsidian and, um, Obsidian Mojang and, uh, Bethesda are all owned under the same company. So it's distinctly possible. Be careful. Hey, Miss Huntress, what have you, what have you been doing this whole time? It's not the same style, but I guarantee you that uh, we're going to get some official Skyrim Minecraft eventually. Because, fuck reasoning. We want money. Let me see here. Hmm. We've got to have money. There's already Skyrim and Minecraft, you say. Yes, but what I'm talking about is full-on... Uh, like official content. I'm not talking about mod, um, mod made content or minor DLCs. I'm talking about like a full on, we're going to sell you this physical good and you're going to buy it because you're, uh, uh, you're, uh, what do you call it? A Bethesda drone. Now me, I might be a Bethesda drone, but I'm getting my money back. The werewolf is here. It's dead. Whatever I invest in Bethesda's little ecosystem, I get back on on the YouTubes and the Twitchies. Yes. All right. Taxonomy. It's a monster. It's a werewolf. Good. At a dual wielding and a dragon just because he could. Yes. Don't you want to fight an ender dragon? The end and the ender dragon are just so underwhelming. After everything you experience in Minecraft. Yeah, okay. I think Minecraft's um, strength is, number one, it's modability. If you're not using the Bedrock Edition, yeah. And um, if you... It's, strength is also the, um, the free-form nature of the world uh, because the content they actually created is pretty bad. Um... Like Terraria and Starbound are almost infinitely better in the handcrafted content made for those games. Oh, we do uh, have our Bandito. Look at her. She's alive. She's dead, actually. She's a zombie. Yes. You said the cave update looks interesting. That's all well and good, but... 
can you access it in the um, in the moddable version? They, I, I don't particularly care about anything Minecraft if I can't mod it. So I'll just go back to Terraria and Starbound at that point. Come on, Snowy Kitty. You found Starbound's story horrendously disappointing? What are you talking about? It was simplistic. You had uh you had all the races get to like Earth got destroyed, so you had all the races get their relics together, and you fight some bosses, and then you fight the big boss, and once you finish that, you become a space bounty hunter. I'm not even joking. You like that after you finish the protectorate's gone, Earth's gone, there's nothing left to do other than to become a space bounty hunter. Um, yes, let me, let me go ahead and pull this up. Yeah, you said you beat it before the update. Um, play Fracken Universe, yes. Absolutely. Play, play Fracken Universe. Trust me. What's this? Oh, the Restoration Shrine. We found it. I just tried to mark this location because I was thinking of a different game. It's called Fracken Universe. Yes. Fracken, not fracking. Fracken. Yes. Ooh, hold on. Um, need to grab uh, the... Got it. Kraken Universe. It is a you just go to the Steam, um, the Steam Workshop, subscribe to it. It's a one-way trip. It'll affect the universe and all your characters. The uh, Fracken races are incompatible with Frack. They're included with Fracken Universe already. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, it completely overhauls the universe and just. Uh, it adds a metric ton of content, expands the main quest, does a lot of other things. You end up running into all kinds of new biomes and planets that you never ran into before. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yes. Tech trees. Ever got a tech tree? You, time to specialize. <laughs> All right. Let's get going. Do, um, takes a while to start the game, you said? Uh, seven, ten minutes? No, it doesn't. Unless you have a really slow hard drive. But, like, not even my NVMe SSD, just a regular SSD can boot it up in, like, 20 seconds? Roughly. So, are you sure you didn't have other mods installed? Huh. 
All right. Hmm. It lags super hard. It, you say you lag super hard with it. Hmm. All right, we're downloading. Uh, we're downloading it now because I think there's something wrong with your game. So, I, I'm going to. I, I'm curious enough now. Uh, Starbound. Download, please. Thank you. I um, it's one gigabyte. I'm gonna download it to my um. My one terabyte SSD, not my system folder. Uh, do, 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 do. What's my operating system? Uh, my operating system. Let me let me pull up uh, info. My inf uh, let me grab it really quick. All right. So uh, operating system. Here you go. Yep. KDE Neon. Yep. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there. I have actually seen this on hard drive on laptops before. They just sit at a hundred percent system usage, and that's because of um, the hundred percent system usage comes from the um, Windows. The Windows active processes lag the crap out of you. And cause pretty much old disk time to uh, uh, balloon. I've seen it happen before. In um, and there he said, "Where did I get Rybash?" Um, the Nexus. Seriously, just the Nexus. Yeah. I mean, you can download it. It's Rye Bash, Rye Smash, so on, and it's uh, all the uh, same file. No matter if you download it for Skyrim, you're downloading it for Fallout Four. If you're downloading it for Fallout Four, you're downloading it for Oblivion. If you're downloading it for Oblivion, you're downloading it for uh, uh, Fallout Three or New Vegas. It's all the same uh, program. Okay, Starbound just finished downloading. Starbound's workshop content just finished downloading. So, uh, let's go ahead and drag this over here. Gonna find my uh, thing. Let's go. All right, so we got, yeah, Starbound here. So we're gonna just really quick double check, click on Starbound, play Starbound gonna so uh uh fracking universe is installed by installing mods you can corrupt your file that's no <laughs> problem there uh let me see here do, do, do. this is a fresh install i i downloaded it right when i told you i was downloading it okay so uh we're waiting for it this is this is a first time setup okay starbound powered by fracking universe let's start game let's create a new character let's make him the bird I almost always play the bird. Doesn't matter. Survival mode, fine, whatever. I'm not. I'm not keeping this playthrough. I'm just. I'm loading it up just to show you. Um, so, how long will it take? Do, 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 do. Yes. Wake up. Yes. Wake up. You've overslept. So, I think we've uh, established there's something wrong with your computer or your setup. One of the two. But this is Fracking Universe. Yes. Okay. We're closing the game. Right? Good. Yep. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's get going. Um, we're going to turn around. Yeah, we're going past the Shrine of Debella, past the altar. Our ultimate goal is to get this uh, this Pommel of Mayrune's razor here. So. Yep. Do. Oh, it's getting dark. What time is it? There are enemies nearby. Crabius. Goblin Warlord. God. Oh, damn it. I'm getting sniped. I'm getting sniped. 
I don't have my stuff on. Good, good, good. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, I uh, I used the workshop because easy. So okay. Either way, if like Skyrim takes me one minute and thirty seconds to boot. By the way, for those who don't know, because I have so many mods installed on it, what are you doing? much higher than that. I'm just I wouldn't be willing to be playing this game. Like, the first time it crashed, if it took, like, three or four minutes, I would have just said, fuck this. Kill. Victory is ours. I've always wanted to say that. I don't have the patience to wait several minutes for a game to open. All right. Other scrolls online, you say? Yeah, um, Elder Scrolls Online definitely has its start time issues, doesn't it? You're used to it, you play GTA Online quite a bit. I played a little bit of GTA Online, but um, I was quite frankly uh, disillusioned by how it, uh, how it doesn't really emphasize you playing the actual GTA online, like wandering around doing things as you would expect. Instead, it emphasizes you. Um, uh, how, do, how best do I put this? Uh, going and playing mini games like let's do a race. Why are we doing a race exactly? Shouldn't we be doing heists or something? No, we have to do a race. That's, that's a good way to get money. Okay, I, I apparently hate this game. Uh, but, but heists are good too, right? Not really. Not, not, not solo anyway, or not with uh, like one or two people. You, you gotta get the full crew together, obviously. What? It, I mean, that's not entirely true. It's not entirely accurate, but... Like, once I realized it wasn't actually... You weren't doing stuff out in the world with all the other players... It, um, I stopped caring about GTA Online at that point. I was like, okay. Yes. Yes. See, I just wanted to play Grand Theft Auto. Like, normal Grand Theft Auto, but with friends there and, like, other players ar around the city. And GTA Online is just a bunch of nodes to play, like, individualized experiences in while you're wandering around, otherwise a GTA map. I didn't like it. Okay, we need Magicka, we need Health. And we need a shock resist potion. I got my shock resist potion. There's no way you can stop me now. He doesn't have any magic anymore. He's out of magic. He can't cast anything. He's basically stuck. I'm out of magic too. But mine's faster than his. Damn right. Good. Yeah. Okay. I think we got it. Just grabbing some juniper berries on our way through. Very good. We're not going to the Divine Elegance store. We've already been there. We got what we needed already. Drag out of water? Yes. Oblivion introduced um, those dregs. They were called uh, uh, like land dregs. We call them billies. I'm just like, that's terrible. 
land dregs. We call them billies. Thanks, Oblivion. I um I enjoy GTA 1, 2, and 3. And I think Vice City was the last GTA I really cared about before I was completely burnt out on the franchise. So when Saints Row came around, I was like, oh boy, it's more GTA. I'm not excited for this. And then, and then Saints Row 3 came around and it was wacky. So I liked it. And Saints Row 2 players got angry because I enjoyed the thing they don't like. Why are you playing this garbage game? You should be playing Saints Row 2. Saints Row 2 is a GTA clone. I don't like it. But Saints Row 3 is absolutely bonkers, so I love it. Um, then GTA 4. Uh, not GTA 4, sorry. Um, Saints Row 4 came around and uh, an alien blows up the earth and you get trapped in the Matrix. It's glorious. The game starts out with you uh, diffusing a missile in mid-flight and then landing in the White House, being elected president and uh, promptly fending off an alien invasion, which you fail to do. The Earth gets destroyed. You get trapped in the Matrix, and now you have to fight the aliens from inside their ship, basically. Or inside of like a, a simulation, I should say. It's it's bonkers and on all the right ways. Yes. I'm going to vote for the guy who landed in the White House after disarming a nuclear missile. It's great, though, because uh, the guy who was going to blow up um, blow up the White House. Or, sorry, yeah, he was going to blow up Washington, D.C. with a nuclear missile. He said... You ruined America. <laughs> that's uh, that's the best way to describe. Him. Like, you ruined America. Now we're gonna nuke the White House and start over. Yes. Okay. A fight. Yes. That's one less thing to worry about. Kajit Caravan. There's our favorite orc. You know anything to say to us. All right. This game needs radio so that uh, Twitch will... Uh, DMCA it. Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, did you need something? Stop! We know you're holding a Daedric artifact. Hand it up. Then you're prepare yourself dead. to receive. Look, I didn't know you guys still aggroed. I thought it, so. It does go to the Hall of the Vigilant if you give it up. Look, I don't didn't want to fight the Vigilance, okay? But you attacked me. All there is to it. Like, I seriously didn't want to fight you. Wow! She just hit me with a frost attack that instantly destroyed me. I'm impressed. Look, I won't talk to any any vigilance anymore. Okay? You 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 got me. You you got me good. Yeah. Well, there we go then. Hey hey, Elena. Elena, you know what I want you to do? I want you to take <laughs> just a couple things off of me, okay? Uh, I want you to take these ancient Daedric Lord boots and these ancient Daedric Lord gauntlets, okay? That's that's that's, that's it. That's it. Uh, Ritual Shroud of Boethia. Yeah, I don't think I have any anything else that's Daedric in nature here. So we'll just uh, leave the Deceiver's finery on and have a chit chat with these uh, vigilants. Yes, yes. Ooh. Yes. She gave me the cold stare. Ooh, hello. Wait, I know you. 
Uh, no, you don't. Hold on. This Imperial soldier thinks he knows me. Elena, where's my money? <laughs> All right. Uh, Septum. I need to convince him he doesn't know me. Yes. Wait. I know you. Um, you said the workshop version of Fracking Year is about half the size of the other? Well, either it's really well compressed or it's missing content. Please figure out which so that I know for, before my next Starbound session. Okay. Um. Yes. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Yeah, look, I'm with the guild. Is this enough to clear my bounty? 12 septums? <laughs> Can make all your problems with the guards go away, but it'll cost you. What do you say? Yeah, sure. Clear my bounty for 12 septums. Done. Now move along before you get me in trouble. Right. Okay, I'm not wanted in Markarth anymore, don't you know? Don't you know? All right. I can make all your problems with the guards go away. Every, every single guard is in on it. That's... You should have to figure out which of the guards, um, which of the guards is corrupt and which one isn't, in my opinion. Like that should be mandatory. You should have like it should be a you know a, a, like they they should have I don't know some like a, a little badge or something to or like a different colored cloak I don't know. Uh, but you know Skyrim didn't have any cloak. I know, but I'm I'm saying for the purpose of this, you should have to be able to identify which guards are corrupt, and then uh, they're all corrupt. Yes, they all say hail Sithis. All right. Do -do. Oh, it's that death sound. The death sound finally caught up. That's funny. All right, we got the Gauntlets of the Crusader up there, and we got Mehrun's Razor Pommel over there. Very good. Let's go this way. The reason the death music had to catch up is what actually happened was I, um, the music wasn't playing. And when, so when it triggered the music, it had to do, go through the queued up music first. Good. Uh, I'm not done with Daggerfall. It's just, I'm, uh, absolutely obsessed with this Skyrim run right now. That's all. Um, I am probably going to retool my mod list, but with Daggerfall, you can do that and not ruin your run. So. I might very well, um, I might very well retool my mod list for Daggerfall a bit. Be careful. Guar, it's dead. Guar mates, did you know the Guar is a werewolf skeleton? Really? Who can't hide what? They've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. What are you even doing? Where are you? He's hunting that rabbit. The game will completely freeze up for about 30 seconds. Oh, okay. What you need to do is you actually need to um, re-download Villager Immersion Overhaul. Uh, you, need to, you need to get rid of your old version completely, uninstall it, and download the newest version. Uh, Kamer has fixed the um, the issues loading into a new area uh, for the first time. It's uh, it's pretty um, it's pretty snappy. It might lag a little bit, but also if you're using a grass overhaul, stop it because Daggerfall grass overhauls hate your life. And wants you to suffer. All right. Look at Triumphant, the um, the mod from any Scion, and build yourself a uh, playthrough based on that. Yes. Ooh. Kill the rat.
Go look at my mod list and look. They're all in a big cluster. Any Scion's uh, overhauls are all in one big cluster. You'll see Imperius. You'll see uh, um, Ordinator. You'll see um, Triumvirate. You'll see Sacrosanct. You'll see Growl. You'll like they're all clustered together in one spot, and they are all. Oh God, that's a Dramen. That's a Dramen. Yes. He did. We got him. We got him. He's he's good. Dragon scales, dragon bones, elven helmet of legend. Uh -huh. Reduce your shout cooldown. Yes. No, that was a dramen dragon man. Trogdor, the Burninator. Ag Rock Redoubt. That's where we're going. He did all the Vampire Lord death animations, yes. Vampire Lords have Vampire Lord death animations. Even if they're just reskinned. You can't make real new monsters in Skyrim. You just have to base yours off old monsters. What was that? I smell blood. I smell blood. Uh, really, Elena? Okay, we've got issues running straight at us. Go into the ruin. Skywind isn't doing their own animations for creatures, as far as I know. Skywind is warping and twisting existing creatures into things that look completely different, like uh, like the Silt Strider, for instance. Yes. But if they're doing completely new animations, then it's going to require an animation generating mod. And, um, yeah, that's... Uh, even then, even if they do new animations, they're gonna be after, they're gonna have to be based on something. Period. Yeah, it's all about warping and twisting the old uh, stuff into new stuff. Yeah, it's possible to have new animations for an existing creature. It's just that, well, it's still the existing creature. What was that? What was that? Oh crap. That was scary. By the gods that hurt. Damn, I can't see. Sorry, Elena. Is this what you want? Not okay. This forsworn thing uh has all kinds of scariness. Wayness. Jeez. He's a Ravager. Light Trolls Bane Light Armor. Interesting. Well, we're going to give her back her Copper Thorn since it doesn't really do much for me. And then we are going to give her something stupid. Yeah, the Forsworn Axe. And then we will raise her as my minion. What is this? A Black Hills Goblin? Sure. Doesn't matter. We need to raise her from the dead. We're waiting, waiting a second. And let's do it. Generating. Bam. She will serve us. Very good. As for you, Mr. Forager, I'll just take your everything and give it to Rumarin. Yes, same deal here. Okay. But yeah, as far as um, jeez, as far as uh, Daggerfall freezing up every time you enter a city, that's villager immersion overhauls old version, not uh, not loading new data very well. 
So um, the newer version of Villager Immersion Overhaul is much more efficient at loading background data without freezing up the game completely. Like, uh, Kamer kind of came to understand what was going on and fixed it, which is nice. I do hope Kamer continues to expand his work because I really enjoy War Mashes and all the other good stuff that he's brought to the table. All right, need to access my Crucible, but I think I'm in combat. So no Crucible for me. Let's see what we got here. A book I don't care about. Some wine. Let's go ahead and throw on Sans Torch so I can see what the hell's going on. I say that right as I get next to a big uh, light source. But, uh, yeah. Let's open this chest. The torch goes out the instant you open the chest, and then it comes back once the chest is... Like, any kind of menus put out the light. It's really silly. Stamina fortification... Damn, you, you are still pretty slow. Move to player. What's your name, anyway? Oh, there's mist here. Interesting. Movable static mist. Which means... There we go. Aleska. Aleska is her name. Now she's ready to move. Right, Valeska? Right. Hold on, I actually need to set the Mace of the Crusader to 1. Now I can beat the crap out of things and feel better about myself. How's the Blackface uh, fix working out? haven't tried it yet. I mean, I I've, I've installed it, but I haven't been to the College of Winterhold this uh, in the last three little uh, segments So uh, since I installed it. So we've basically done nothing. That, uh, because the only place that had the black face bug was the College of Winterhold, um, because of the changes to, uh, the immersive College of Winterhold was conflicting with what's her name, um, uh, Pandorables. And so we'll only know once we get there whether, uh, Pandorables are doing it or not. Yep. I don't have chaos for NPCs. And Dorables adds them anyway. But yeah. Uh -huh. Congratulations on uh, receiving a new version of Fracken Universe then. That's one of my uh, favorite little wastes of time. I can spend about uh, 40 to 60 hours just messing around with a new version of Fracken Universe. I like to start my uh, Starbound over almost every time I play it, so I'm almost always guaranteed, you know, 40 to 60 hours of fun. Someone there? Nope, that Briar Heart is a pain. Okay. Got a uh, nice elixir of health fortification, some magicka, and give me some shock resistance, please. Thanks. We should be fine now. Yes. Nope, 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 nope. Stop stabbing me. Okay. Look at that coward. Damn, that Briar Heart was the boss of the area. Let me take his heart out. Okay, we got his heart. I think we got everything. Boots, cloak, headdress. Yeah, this guy. Pickpocket his heart out. Yeah, you can. But uh, I'm not going to because it was better just murder him and be done with it. Let's go ahead and resurrect him from the dead as our uh, our level 50 freaking Briar Heart boss guy. Rumarin, what are you doing? Stop it. Yeah. Rumarin stood on top of him like an idiot. There we go. 
Briar Heart without a heart. And open his inventory. And to give him some, uh, some alms. Yeah, I thought that uh, Forsworn headdress, fur shoes, and hide armor. That's fine. Good. You're good. You served me in death. You're a level 50 boss. Uh, trap trigger, yes. See what up oh, creep cluster. That's fine. Oh nice. There's some mithril ore there. That my followers shove into me. Yeah, we've got a uh, level 50 Briar Heart and like a level 47 Ravager here. Very good. Do, do, do you have to create a fresh character from our oblivion? I have no idea. That might be something interesting to find out for sure. Okay, so we've Made it up here. Sounds like my followers appeared somewhere else. Yep, there's a trolley troll. Level 51 Briarheart. Okay, Mr. Briarheart. I like how he tries to absorb magic. Pretty good at it. Was your mother a Falmar? Or were you just. That ugly. Take his heart out. Uh, let's give him his axe back. You may have your battle axe back. Let's go ahead and drink some uh, some magica. Yes. Yes, I know. Soon I will know the cold. Okay. Doesn't matter. Dead thrall. Must die. Yes. So we got uh, another Briar Heart who serves me. Two Briar Hearts and a Ravager. This is exactly as it should be. Yes. That skeleton having a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, ebony shield is pretty frightening. Oh, it was a conjured skeleton, too. Mm hmm. Oh, you said Mar Oblivion. I don't know about Mar Oblivion. Sky Oblivion, I have no idea either, but no. Let me see here. Do, do. Mm -hmm. Miss Huntress here, look at her. She's just sniping everybody. And you thought I was just a pretty face. Yes. Miss Forsworn Crusher. She's convulsing. Yes. This burns the undead. Come on, okay. Forsworn Crusher has some lustful eyes. Very good. What you got? Damn. You bested me. <laughs> she used fear. Uh, the, the enemy used fear on her. So she's like, you bested me. I'm running away now. Rumaran ran too. My zombie is not having any of that, though. Look at that. That's the witch who's doing the crazy stuff. Okay, Rumarn. We're good. That witch can't get away. But she wants to. Oh, my zombie's in here. Nice. Was in here? No, he's a regular force one. Okay. I was confused there. God, she's healing herself. Okay, she, she's actually killing me. Yeah, she's actually killing me. We're taking a, a potent health potion. Got resist magic and resist fire and frost. Okay. Watch it there, brother. Watch it there, brother. Yes. Okay. Reflect damage. Reflect Damage. Oh boy.
Well, that happened. And you thought I was just a pretty face. I need to get out of melee range. I yield, I yield. Damn it, Ramarin. Ramarin is, is causing me major issues. Yes. Look at her run. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah, I just took a massive bolt of damage there. We got her. Finally. Well, I think I, I actually got shot just then and there. Quick safe. Let's go. Enemy is this way. Up there. Yeah, I took an arrow to the shoulder. The Black Hills Goblin. I did take care of that, didn't it? All right. Let's do it. Let's find that totem shield, brother. Sure, after we finish doing a bunch of other arbitrary tasks, that'll take us forever. I need to do this Nordic dig site first. Ancient Nordic. What about the Reachman stuff? No big deal. Yeah, she got stuck on a spike. Exactly. Gotta just kill 26. Take her everything. Ravager. What are you doing? We got our Briarheart, our Ravager, and our other Briarheart. Let's get arrows out of us for one thing. Let's pluck, plunk all our, these arrows out. Thank you. Force one arrow added. No problem there. Uh, might as well take all these Ravager items while we have the opportunity before we get... Yes, all right then. He has nothing really to say. All the Force worn stuff. More alchemy ingredients. I think I just got some slowed soap. That's good stuff. Oof, my goodness. When I see an NPC get stuck on something in this game, it just reminds me of Daggerfall. It takes me back to Daggerfall when all the NPCs would get stuck on walls. Uh, Daggerfall Unity allows you to have enhanced uh, enemy AI where they actually try to go around stuff. But in the vanilla game, it was super easy to get enemies stuck. Which was not a good thing. Daggerfall was ahead of its time in some ways, but in most it was very, very primitive. That's why we use mods. Yay. Okay. Dead Force Sworn Ravager. I'll be taking your everything. Excellent. Next, checking out each area for the loots. A draught of magicka. It's not called draught; it's called draft. Yes, exactly. Draught of magicka, just like I said. All right, got some arrows there, and what else? Mm-hmm. Good. We should be okay. Other than that. Got a lot of enemies. I like how his, his heart is open now. He's lost his... Like, both of these guys have lost... The, oh. I guess you still have your Briar Heart. Hold on a second. Let me, let me check your inventory. No. It's just that his armor is causing it to look like his Briar Heart's still in. I don't know. It's weird. Alright, up there we've got a Hagraven to kill. She casts massive fireballs. I remember that much. Uh, might as well grab everything this troll has. We are over encumbered instantly, of course. Because why would we have it any other way? Let's immediately access our crucible, assuming we are good, not in combat anymore. And put everything that was alchemy ingredient away. Still not enough, but it's definitely a help. Never mind, it was more than enough. Jace, 
We apparently had a stupidly huge amount of alchemy ingredients on us that uh, did push us into overburdening. But a lot of this stuff belongs in a museum. It should also be put away. The Black Sting, for instance. As the spider shouts, we are no match for Sting. Let's do it. Hagraven? Wait, Hagraven's way up there. Never mind. Apparently there's a dead wood elf here, sacrificed to these druidic bastards. The druids were frightening, you know. All right. People think of, oh, well, they're they're in tune with nature and they're beautiful, uh, you know, like elven. That's that's not what real life druids were like. Trust me, they are uh, truly frightening. Yes. Wait, enemies down there? Yeah, it's fine. There's another path up. This is the way. Soul Gym, Taproot, Snow Baris. Excellent. Most excellent. Now, uh, up here. Lots of urns. No bear helmet. There are barnacles there. Is someone there? You Quick, use the safe word. Use the safe word, right? Bye. And you thought I was just a pretty face. He keeps trying to get me. I'm going to enjoy this. Damn. You got it. Ah, crap. You dodge away there. We got them for the most part. Oh, there's a lot of them. Jeez. I underestimated. Sure, Miss Huntress. Okay. So, that is the Necromancer. We hit her once. We can still use powers. Her magic is regenerating quickly. We have to be careful. She has the ability to more or less instantly kill us. Oh god, she's draining my health just being near her. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Damn it! Okay. She died. The shaman. The shaman. Alright. Daedric Tonto. That belongs in a museum. We just got a museum piece right there. Right then and there. Very good. What can we give her that is equal to a, a Daedric Tonto? Because she's certainly not getting that back. Um. Hmm. This Forsworn Defender and Orca Short Spear. I think she can have that. Yeah, wait, the Orca Short Spear also belongs in the museum. Jace, what are we doing? What is even happening anymore? All right, you, Mr. Briarheart, what have you got in your inventory? Got Forsworn Battle Axe. What about you? What do you have in your inventory? You have garbage. All right, Mr. Briarheart, you're dead. So, uh, that was a follower, Briarheart. We are going to raise her from the dead to serve me without any weapons. Unless, of course, we can find a weapon on the ground or something. I don't think so, though. I think this is all a bit off the wall bonkers. Yeah, this is an adept door we can open. Damn it. She's a lot stronger than the Briarheart. There's no question about that. Hmm. 
Yep. Weird. Hmm. That's really weird. Screw it. Don't care if I lose six lock picks. Yep. One lock pick lost. This is open. Wait, that leads to Skyrim. I didn't mean to go to Skyrim. Uh huh? What's in the chest? Ebony Mace of the Inferno. Damn. I don't know why everyone's fighting there. Seems off. Seems like everything's a bit weird. Yeah, so this lady here. We'll give her the Ebony Mace of the Inferno. It's not that useful, actually. And then we will raise her from the dead, which is very important to do. I'm going to say we need to... Yeah, I, my mouse cursor is basically stuck on her for some reason. I was trying to, like, <laughs> get off! Get off! Okay. Now we have a nice minion there. Like Miss Huntress got on the other side of that door. That's the exit. Good work for you, Miss Huntress. You're completely busted. Uh -huh. Look how those uh, that trap there wasn't working properly. All right, what's in here? Septums. Oh no, I have been burnt with fire that I will heal up from. Game at dinner teaches you how to use poison. From the uh, King of Morrowind. I don't care. This is the way. Hey you. Move to player. That's missed. There we go. Better. Amazing when the Briar Hearts learn to do basic tasks. Right. So get us out there, and then we'll be fighting all of the creatures. All right. Wow. How did I clear it? I don't understand. All I know is this lady has summoned skeletons that serve me. And that amuses me greatly. By the way, she's out of magic. She's not dead yet. As soon as she settles, she'll die. Yes, we got the pommel of Marin's razor off her. Very good. She had the item. I think uh, there's a new Nordic word here. Actually, it's dragon word. We, no, we don't know that yet. We know these are ancient Nordic words as far as our character knows. Yes. Soul Jam, Soul Jam. Throne of Baron Zaya. 7 out of 24. Amazing. Get a mod that gives them map markers, won't you? Maybe. Soul Jam. Damn. I like how those are supposed to be traps and they got knocked down immediately, those soul gems. Unbound fire. Other basic items. Hmm. Alright, so one thing you can do is you can jump up here. Oops, I said you can jump. Oh, that's fine. Good. Like those words for the museum? I mean, I might just... Uh, Author a paper or something. Who knows? I'm in Soul Gym. Yes. Hmm. Why ancient Nordic words are garbage? That sounds like a, an award winning paper to me. Hmm. 
Damn you and your butterflies. You dark shaman. All right. Mr. Forsworn, I'll be taking your body parts. You may keep your low quality ragged furs to yourself. I do not desire them. Oops. Damn it. There we go. Go ahead and elk hide. Elk and hide. That should do it. Wait a second. Let's check the tower. The goblin is dead. What else is here? Steel helmet, iron sword. We'll melt those down later. No big deal. I don't think there's much here that I care about. Amulet of RK, Orcish Glaive, some septums. Oh no! Who died and why? You're alive, Miss Forsworn Shaman. You are alive, Mr. Briar Hart. You say Narimarendril? You should, if you're going to go with Narimarendril, you need to play Arctwind first. Yes. Really? Apparently, my follower is dead. One of them. Uh, one of the minions. Way down here. I cannot best you. <laughs> you know you can't. I cannot best you. Fine. This is the Ravager. She, she died the death. But it's okay because we'll raise her as a dead thrall. Yes. Ever you see ruins in Skyrim? How do people live in a hallway? That is a very good question. Reminds me of uh, Dungeons and Dragons style dungeons. Like, no one would have their uh, layout be this way. The only reason the layout is that way is so that um, the encounters can be shaped in uh, specific order. Because otherwise, no one would live in those conditions. Well, they all have to be protecting the wizard's treasure, right? The wizard conjured them. That's why they're there. Okay. Oh no, the bridge troll. The bridge troll is dead. Whatever shall we do? Yes. We Billy Groats. Let's harvest it. That's it. The troll is now empty. As are we all. Okay. Hello, Miss Elena, and your open head concept. Yes, she's very open-minded. Uh, Jace. Okay. That should do it. We got the pommel. That's the important thing. The next piece of Mayroon's razor is where? Uh, well, actually, want to go to the Gauntlets of the Crusader first, I think. Uh, geez. Where is... Okay, so the blade is way down that way. We should definitely go get the Gauntlets first. I mean, we have to pass by Markarth. Yes. Goats were that effective against trolls in real life. Hmm. Yes. Your water run. Yeah, we're not going in there right now. We are uh, making a run for it. But not that. Okay, we're good. I was worried for a moment. Ravagers and shamans and... Oh no, the skeletons went to pieces. 
Uh huh. Lost treasure. Got it. We have an enemy that we must face. It's called a mud crab. There is also, I think, a goblin. You're a very small goblin, and you have more legs than most goblins. The animals you butcher should give you a hundred pounds of meat. That that makes sense, but I actually uh, changed it to single cut. I I actually engineered it so that I wouldn't be uh, in it, Marauder. Here we go. Ah, oh, crap. Dying the death. Got him. That zombie's down. That lady's just shooting me with arrows, ignoring the people shooting her. You must die. Got it. Yes. I have... Okay. Lady kept shooting me. If you uh, check out episode zero... You would see the mod uh, configure, or sorry, 0 0.5. You'd see the mod configuration menu. I talked about stuff like that. I went over exactly why uh, things were the way they are. Can get things done. I like it. Yes. Okay. But no, you can get a uh, ubiquitous amount of meat. Uh, what? Ubiquitous amount. Sorry, meat. Uh, food is ubiquitous. That's what I meant to say. All right, my uh, my thought process is a bit scrambled right now. The order of words don't come out quite as they should. Now, as I was saying, um, uh, like food is just completely trivialized in all sense of the word once you uh. If you use the vanilla, or sorry, not vanilla, but the the default mod settings for uh, for butchering, yes, yes, that's the best way to put it. Uh, jeez. Should you start following my channel? Nah, nah. Give it a pass. Give it a pass. Go watch uh, a VTuber or something. All right, let's go this way. Oh no, a Breton there. Hmm. Lock pick. There we go. Oh. All right. We need to go past Markarth now. Yes. Past Markarth. Very important. Remember. Follows are not a currency. You follow when you want to watch. You unfollow when you don't want to watch. That's it. If anyone tries to reward you with follows, tell them to go fuck themselves. Let's go this way. Across the bridge. Hmm. Now, as I was a saying, we got our Nern route. Very good. We have to head over to the Gauntlets of the Crusader up there, up there. Yes. Uh, very good. Just head on up there. Hmm. Well, that's up to you. It's your decision. Okay, let's save the game really quick. We're reaching the end of our amazing adventures for today. I'm hoping to at least get up there. But, um, you know, it's, it's been a, a series. That's for sure. We've been having fun. But I think we're going to have to save the rest of the fun for tomorrow. Tomorrow.